Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Here we go again. Got some more on the 4L80E build that we're doing. Um, today we're going to be doing the uh, fourth clutch, basically overdrive. Um, so this clutch is kind of unique in the way it works. Um, it actually bolts through the case um, and that's also your feed hole. Uh, it's really easy when you pressure test or air test one of these to blow the seal out when you do it. I've done it, believe me. It's really easy. It doesn't have much travel. So let's, uh, let's get into this and we'll get this thing put together. All right, so on this one, it's kind of unique. This groove here is for a snap ring. This groove here is for a seal. And you can tell if you look, it's actually stepped. That's how you can tell it takes the seal. And on this one, the step is on the inside right here. So that takes your other seal. So start by giving it some love. All right. And if you look at these seals, one of them has the lip on the outside. The other one has the lip on the inside. You don't want to switch these around. So since we've got the lip on the inside, that's going to go in this housing. All right, there's that one. Now, do your piston, okay? And put your outer seal in, like so. Now this here is your actual seal surface. You can see it's got a little bit of scuff mark on it. And that's what we want to lube on this one. Again, make sure to get your bevel on the bottom side. Loop up your piston seal. All right, that's all lubed up. You want to do the same thing on this. You want to lube this area right here. Lube up your seal. Yeah. All right, y'all. I uh, went and grabbed the actual tools for doing this uh, reverse clutch, or not reverse, fourth clutch, excuse me because there's no no way that you're going to get this thing together I don't if somebody else has managed to get it together without it I'd be impressed but anyway you, you slide that over that uh, that piston over that And then your other one goes on your inner. So you put that in there like that. Then this whole thing sits on this base. And you slide the whole thing in there. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well. Through a lot of fighting, I finally got the thing in there. What I had to do, uh, the tool apparently is damaged in some way um, that it doesn't doesn't work like it's supposed to. So what I had to do is I had to put this seal protector in here and protect the upper seal. And then I basically used 
the uh, the lip wizard to uh, walk it around the uh, seal there to make sure I could get it in and the clearance in here is really tight so it was rather uh, it was a pain in the butt let me tell you but I got it so then you get your spring that goes on the top there and this should be your outer ring And that's for your clutches so you're out of ring for this one let's see probably gonna be this one right here yeah I don't think that's right Almost has to be because I don't have any snap rings left, really. The only reason why I don't think it can be this one is because the this looks like an inside one. See how it's got the ears on it? So that's not going to be that one. All right, y'all. Well, I don't know what happened to my the rest of my footage on that fourth clutch. Um, I want to spring in there because it's kind of tricky or the snappering um, on the holds the spring onto the clutch I have no idea what happened with footage uh, it must have got erased or deleted or done something with it I don't know but anyway um, once you get done with that you can air check your your clutch and uh, you do it basically through the feed hole. Uh, you just don't want to apply a whole lot of air to it just in case uh, the thing, if, if you put too much air to it, it blows the seal out and then you end up having to put it all back together again. Which, like I said, that's the worst clutch on that whole transmission. I mean, a lot of you that knows you know what a 400 turbo is you know 4L80 is just a 400 turbo with an overdrive in it which is basically true um, and you know it's kind of obvious when they come up with it I mean it, they thought of it as an afterthought but uh, nonetheless um, it is a pain in the butt clutch it's one of the worst ones in it but uh, we're going to end it off there on this video, and uh, you'll have to stay tuned for the, for the next one. So I hope you all are enjoying the content on our 4L EDE build. I um, hope you all are able to pick up something and learn something from it. I sure appreciate you watching it. Um, sure appreciate you uh, subscribing. If you do subscribe and hit that like button, um, there's a lot of you out there that are, that are watching it and not subscribing, which I, I understand. You can't subscribe to everybody's channel, but I sure could use the help. But anyway, that being said, uh, love y'all. Love you guys. I'm glad you all are here. Uh, I'm glad I can teach something. You, you really don't know how much it means to me. Um, so with that being said, uh, until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and God bless you. We'll see you. Bye-bye.